Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be comparing two companies that lead the frozen dried food market here in the United States. We're going to be comparing the Peak Refuel brand versus the old reliable Mountain House brand. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase either of these two brands, make sure you check out the links in the description below. All right, here is my exposure to the frozen dried food market when I went on my venture from here in Las Vegas all the way to Yellowstone. I went from here, flew up to Sacramento, then from Sacramento, I drove all the way to Yellowstone, and that's a lot of driving. When you get to your final destination where you want to stay overnight, you're just tired from all the driving. And yeah, you want to make your steaks and your sausages and your stews, but sometimes you just don't have it in you and these are a great option they're really lightweight they hardly weigh anything even if you buy a bunch of them they're really easy to make and they taste great all right let's begin with some observations on the packaging here so right off from the start here we can see that the peak refuel has an actual picture of the meal in a skillet and they look so appetizing whereas the mountain house one looks very nice but no picture you know what are you, what are you actually getting inside the packaging also notice that the vacuum seal seems to be a little bit more fitted around the meal like there's no air around it at all versus the mountain house one where you know there's a lot more air here around the sides of the actual meal in here you flip it over to the back here we see the best buy day is 2051 on the mountain house whereas on the peak refuel it's at 2027 now that makes me think that because it's expiring earlier it might be tastier than the one that's going to last a little bit longer well at least that's my theory also we can see here that the mountain house is 3.7 ounces packet size versus the uh, 4.87 so this is bigger uh, you get more food in this packaging and another important difference is yes absolutely you get more food with peak refuel but you also get 39 grams of protein compared to the mountain house 14 grams now that might change but as of the recording of this video those are the differences there. All right, flipping the bags over to the back, of course, the packaging that has more in it is gonna have higher calories. So that's the half serving, that's the full amount of calories in one package there. So 680 there versus the Mountain House, 260 here, 510. And here, I'll, I'll bring both of those nutritional facts in there. You guys can hit pause and compare your sodium and all that other stuff in there. Directions for both of these is about the same. You're just gonna add some boiling water in here and let it sit. Uh, this one is a cup and a quarter. This one should be two cups because there's more in it. Two cups. And two cups. Uh, 15 minute stand time. And on the Mountain House, I think it's a four minute stand time. And I know that there is a moisture absor absorber in here. So make sure you remove that before eating. And I'm pretty sure this is going to have one too. All right, I'm going to put you guys on pause here, get some water into these bags, and I'm going to scoop them out of here and put them on a plate so we can see what they look like and then do a quick taste test. Now, if you're going to be eating these out of the bag out there in the field, you of course want a long titanium spoon. This is probably one of the best things to have on a camping trip. If you want to get one of these, check the link in the description below. But let's heat them up. All right, before getting started, here is the mountain house. Nice puffy eggs there. That's what it looks like. And uh, not exactly filled up to the top. And again, this one's going to be pour the water in, stir it around, seal it four minutes, wait four minutes, open it back up, stir again, wait five more minutes. So a total of nine minutes. Here is the peak refuel filled to the brim. That looks like there's going to be some, some meats in there. Uh, and this one, I guess, is just uh, two cups of water for 50 minutes. Probably have to stir it around for a bit. But that's what both of these look like. All right, guys, breakfast is served. We have the Mountain House on the right and the Peak Refuel on the left. And right away, you can already see a quantity difference. Look how much more food is on the Peak Refuel plate. And notice the texturing. This looks like something that would come out of maybe like an actual skillet, right? Diced up chunks. Well, kind of on the mountain house side, you just have really large chunks of eggs. And smell-wise, the aroma that's coming off this plate is definitely, like you can smell the spices and the sausage. Uh, not so much the eggs, but here, not so much smell coming off of this. So, I mean, look at the amount of sausage that's in that too. Sausage is everywhere uh, compared to the mountain house. All right, let's dig in here. 
make sure I got a good representation of everything that's on there. Okay, I think I got enough. All right, we got some eggs, sausage, hash in there. Let's give it a taste. Oh, now you can taste the spices though in there. Mmm. Nice texture on the eggs. I do like those chunky eggs. It's got nice flavoring in it. I just wish there was more sausage in it. It's pretty good. All right. Peak reveal. All right. Closer look at that. Man, there's so much sausage in there. Oh. A lot of good flavoring in here, too. A lot of sausage taste. It's like a meat lover skillet in here. Hmm. Interesting choice, John. Wow, this is a tough choice between these two. You know what's weird, guys? Even though that looks like it should be better, I think I prefer the taste of this one just a little bit more. Yeah, this flavoring pops more. Not that this is bland. But if I had to choose just based on taste, not about quantity or looks, I think I would choose the Mountain House. Well, alright guys, once again, this has been the Mountain House Breakfast Skillet versus the Peak Refuel Breakfast Skillet. You got a lot of more food on this side. The texture is really good. Even though the texture is not that great on the Mountain House, I prefer the taste on the Mountain House. Which one I prefer? I would eat them both. Try them both. Why not? If you're going to be out there, see if your family likes one or the other or which one you might like one or the other. Remember, if you want to purchase either of these freeze-dried meals, make sure you check out the links in the description below. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.